another Jeep. Who the heck cares? Look at this little thing. What the heck is this? What is that? Let's go. Free ride. Does this even have seatbelts? No. no. <laughs> I felt bad for not putting my seatbelt on, but it doesn't even have seatbelts. <laughs> Baby duck. Massive Chad one. Um, the giant duck is now bogged. I've got goosebumps. All right, we're out here in the bush today. There's a car park, pretty standard. Some blow-ins here. What? Wait a minute. These cars don't look very normal. We're here at the Corowa Swimming. I'm here with Will. I'm here with Human. Human, and basically we're at a ginormous uh, historic military vehicle show sort of thing. So let's jump in and let's check it out. Let's go. We haven't even got in the gates. There's just like ancient Jeeps here. Facially old trucks. I honestly don't really know what I'm looking at, but it's epic. Like this one doesn't even have a door. And everyone just comes in like old cars as well, just to get the theming and check out this truck. I have no clue. We saw this one before at Macca's, just something was going wrong. They were underneath trying to fix it. There's a Land Rover, just like casually. Don't mind me. Will's off to a good start. He's already standing in a balance nest. Good job, sir. How does it feel? Uh, good, sir. Very good. <laughs> Will, what type of car is this? Uh, Kia Stinger. He's, we've got a Kia Stinger here, Will's favourite car, and it's in yellow, right next to a Jeep. We haven't even gotten inside and I'm ready to poop my pants. How does it feel, Will? Uh, it feels like feels Yeah, it feels <laughs> There's the entry gate, but yeah, once again, we're not even inside. We've just got parentes on deck. Oh my Haven't even got inside Dude, the, the expo. Stuff, uh... Look at this. Look at this, parenti. I'm like, and oh, there's another one right here. Uh oh, this is so. Look at this setup. This is epic. Got an ancient Morris as well as a Unimog. This is my kind of car park. Will, how does it feel to be in the presence of this behemoth? Feels like dairy. There's also bikes too, but uh, I don't think anyone cares about that. All right, let's go in. Good morning. Hey, it's a gold coin, isn't it? Yes. All right, we're inside. I don't even know where to start. We've got a giant shed with like various army things to have a look at. And then we've got all the vehicles over there. Oh, I just, I don't even know where to start. This is so awesome. We're gonna go have a look at the vehicles first. There's a truck just on deck. This is absolutely incredible. Check out all the vehicles. This is absolutely awesome. I don't even know where to start. I really like this ambulance. I've never even seen that before. Oh, this is so cool. We have a Parenti Land Rover here. It's looking pretty stock from the auctions. Just a quick look. I don't know how, like, I'm not going to open doors or anything, but obviously it's someone's car. Nice enough to let us have a look. Very cool. Yep. There you go. Ooh. I'm drowning in coolness right now. How are you feeling, human? It's good. This is pretty cool. How are you feeling, Will? Yeah, pretty good. He's feeling good. Just a little yeah. walk past all the Jeeps. I could have bought a couple more 40 years ago. Oh. Dairy. Check this out. In one of the Jeeps, there's like badges for people attending the swim-ins like every year. So that's pretty cool. Look at this, on this Jeep, the one with the swim-in badges, the headlights are covered. I wonder why, you guys can tell me in the comments. This Jeep over here has something interesting. A, it has like a little water bag thing, which is 
very quite interesting. But there's like a there's like a pole in the middle. I wonder if that's where a broomstick needs to be mounted. Looks like the boys have been here as a pair of bolt cutters. I got the bolt cutters too. Ralph Lauren bolt cutters. Oi oh, guys, do you want the bolt cutters, mate? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This one's like multicolor. Look at this one, yeah, it's multicolor. How's it feel just basking in the glory? Uh -huh. Check out this duck. It's not made of rubber though. Just a little walk past. It's got a Queensland number plate. I wonder if someone drove this from Queensland. Amazing. I like how the exhaust comes out the front. It's really interesting. Looks like this Jeep here is Still in use. It's completely covered in mud. It's got the theming on point. Check out this old ambulance. It's definitely not as old as all these Jeeps, but still definitely cool. It's a Ford F-150. What's going on in there? Overly crazy in there. Interesting stickers and stuff. Sorry, the shots are really bad. Very cool. The emblem on the side. Still got the lights. It's absolutely incredible. Very, very cool. Love Bit of history on this specific car. Have a read. Have a geese. Let's get going. All right, let's press on. I'm pretty chuffed with all these Jeeps, but there's some more interesting stuff down here. Bit of a change of pace from all the Jeeps. Yeah, this is a German one. Volkswagen. Oh, that is cool, yeah. Check out the lights. It's sort of like a weird mushroom thing. So it just sprays the light directly on the road in front and this is like reduced to just a slit. There's some riding on here on the side. I'm a complete amateur. I'm pretty sure this is a German vehicle. It's German riding. Look at the instruments, that is so minimal. Look at the floor, it's just like wooden. There's provision for holding four broomsticks. Let's just call them that. Four broomsticks could be held here. There's three different types of Jeeps in a row here. It's so fascinating. This Jeep back here has the provision to just be towed. That is so interesting. This vehicle is now a mobile home. It's pretty awesome. Look at the setup. Chad tires. Bit of factoids about this specific truck here. Very, very cool. There's so many lights to choose from if you drive this truck. I like this duck. It's really very quite interesting. Check this out. There's like an additional little floppy bit that would go So when it like goes in the water, hopefully less water would come onto the bonnet. But yeah, very cool. It's weird to see a car with life jackets in it and an anchor. There's a lot to digest if you want to drive this thing. Look at all the little factoid plates back. So you got the wheels here underneath the pinto hook thingy is the actual prop. Very cool. This is interesting. It's like a firefighting Jeep. New South Wales Bushfire Brigades. That's interesting. Oh, it smells like sausages. Oh, it smells like sausages. I can smell them. Get a sausage. Look at this truck. This truck. That's so cool. This truck is sprung alive and now it's going over here. I don't know exactly where he's going, but. Listen to the ambiance. Let's gumble. Okay, gumbling, we're running. Here it goes. These trucks aren't as loud as I thought they would be. I swear some four-wheel drives are way louder than these military trucks. <laughs> I 
This truck is on a trailer. It appears like it's in mid restoration. Sneaky shot inside the cab down there. Yeah, you can see this is like looking fresh. This is looking super fresh. Have a look in here. Got like a winch here, the Dodge. There's like little historic pictures, I'm assuming, of this truck or similar trucks or something like that. There's a fire fighting truck maybe? I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. I'm just going to be quiet because I don't even know what I'm talking about. But look at these photos of people using this truck or similar trucks. Any information and parts relating to the RAF tier truck early rescue power wagon. So I think it might have been like on an airport and if there was a plane crash or something, they would come and put out the fire or whatever. I mean, these guys look pretty tactical. I don't know, you tell me. We got a magnificent Land Rover here, complete with trailer. So you can see it connects to Land Rover here. It goes through here and look at this, only if you're in the military, you can tow two trailers at once or 25 if you so wish. Just walking past, got like a little antenna mount. Look inside 50 miles per hour max. Still got all the gamer gear in there, pristine bottle of water and sunglasses. But other than that, it's like straight, it's like out of a museum almost. The spare wheel on there. I love this ginormous antenna on the side. Close up on the antenna. Fancy some air conditioning, just open one of these flaps. An attempted better view of the dashboard. An attempted better view of the gizmo. I thought this was impressive. I was like, oh, that's cool. I wish it was a bit more, oh, there is. No, it's not just these Land Rovers. It continues all the way down there. There is so much to look at. I love the doors in a lot of these vehicles. They're just a piece of rope and yeah, it doesn't appear like there's any seat belts, so you better hold on. Lots of very interesting vehicles, including this Bronco. Human, what's your favorite vehicle so far? This one. The Bronco. She loves the Bronco the most. got some sort of normal classic cars which are cool in their own right it's very very cool it's weird to think like oh, some of these are probably nearing a hundred years old you know if it was made in 1925 it's yeah almost a hundred years old so very cool to see on the back of this car there's little steps wondering why there's actually a seat in there let's just do a random interior one of these old cars very interesting dark on deck dark on deck alert epic that was so cool just look at all of the festivities this is like the coolest thing i've ever been to the quick interior of this parenti Six by six. See all the switches, the blackout light switches and so forth. See the map reading lights. Still got the army seat covers. This is absolutely epic. Various doodads for sale, if you so wish. Dairy. 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 I actually love this magnet as well. How classic is this? So, yeah, it's it's crazy. This Land Rover over here is like OTT. It's got two snorkels, for what reason? This is the first motorbike I've seen. Very quite interesting. It's got an army helmet in it. Land Rovers, very nice, very nice, but look at this little man. Who is this? What the heck is this? This is epic. What the heck is this thing? It's in English, so. I 
wonder what its purpose was. It's so rudimentary. The washer fluid is just in here. There's no doors. Look at the things to engage the diff locks. I just love this thing. This thing's awesome. It can only go 60 miles per hour. Look at the pedal. It looks like a fish fin. Look how micro the rear view mirror is. Honestly, I feel like the person just added that. Peeping into one of these parentes. This covers like the fault indicators light sort of area and that would have flapped down so you could see it all flapped up Ooh. there you are there's a parenti about to take off right next to us here he goes well we've got parenti action happening all over the shop excellent okay as i was saying these little pinholes would allow enough light for the driver to see what was wrong with the car without the, his face or her face getting glowed up, um, you know, because people could <laughs> them if they could see it because these have special lights, so the entire, see blackout, so the headlights go black and like all the lights turn off. Um, so there's no point if you've got an engine light on, it glowing up the entire cab. So this blocks out the lights, little light cutter sort of thing. I hope that makes sense, a bit long-winded. Let's continue the Floyd Bromley long-winded video. Great. Next to yet another Parenti, we have an amazing little moke. It's really cool, I didn't know the military had mokes. A lot of this stuff was in Vietnam. What are you showing me, Will? This vehicle is in Vietnam. Was it? Is that what know. you're trying to tell me? I don't know. Chains, tools, massive but wheels. There was a lot of this in Vietnam in the museums. This is cool. I am a Vietnam veteran. What the heck is this? Bit of a peep in the cab. Bonus toilet explore, they're fatal. Look at these toilets, they're like definitely abandoned. Oh, fatal. Oh, they're still being used, they even flush. Oh, there is no toilet paper. Oh, we're in New South Wales, so there's 20 cents in that bin. There's a lizard. Oh, fatal, talk me the state of it. Fatal toilet. We've got a Hummer here, check out the antennas. We've got um, jelly bean containers that hold jelly beans. Thanks YouTube for silencing everyone. Look, <laughs> look at the fuel cap. There is an interior. Oh, one of those weird things. You can see that there would have been a um, broomstick. Thanks YouTube. Ah! Here comes the firefighting Jeep. Another Jeep. Who the heck cares? Look at this little thing. What the heck is this? What is that? Oh, it's epic! The heck is it? That is so epic. The tracks on it as well. Ooh. Wow. In cab, have a look. It's a Ford. It's very rudimentary. I like it. Look at the fire extinguisher. All right, let's have a look in the cargo bay. This kind of reminds me of like the like a really old version of a Unimog. Look at this. It's like someone's house for the purposes of the swim in, but you can imagine the army festivities that would have taken place in here. I love this little ute type thing. It's kind of crispy. Looks like a rat rod. Dwing quake. Chad Land Rover alert, Chad Rover. This is absolutely incredible. Um. <laughs> no, it's like, it's disintegrating. This one's interesting. It's the first sort of like deserty themed colored one I've seen that I can recall. I've probably walked right past it, but what I find very interesting is this interesting looking steamroller thingy. What the heck is this roller? Is that so it can go like down a really steep incline and not like just smack the bumper or something? I don't know, but I'm um, check this thing out. Have a quick in-cab view. Scout car, US Army. Oh, it's American, obviously. I think I, I think I remembered it was American, but 
this is cool let's have a look around left hand drive very very nice but not as nice as damn toilets we checked out a moment ago i'm starting to run out of battery so i'm starting to conserve what i film but i have to come back for this one this one is so cool just like various goodies the doors are made out of wood oh no the cab that's part of the cab that's made out of wood sorry just look how vintage this thing is that is so old school oh here comes the old um raf fire fighting truck thing in me bob on the back of the trailer who knows maybe next year it'll be here under its own steam i was seeing on the internet that people have come to this event with world war one vehicles i haven't seen anything that old so far but this is pretty impressive i don't know exactly what type of truck it is but i think it's probably like 40s or something it's a chevrolet so not too sure but you can tell me in the comments they uh, really should put like little bits of paper just explaining what all these vehicles are and at least the name and year because i you know i think they assume if you come to this event you know what the heck you're looking at i have no clue i'm just like i love it all but the only things i really know is like the unimogs the parenti land rovers and obviously jeeps but other than that i'm pretty pretty clueless this is a human size comparison for the mercedes-benz unimog i love this it even says mercedes-benz like on the bump bar sort of thing i think these were helicopter points they could connect things and like a big chain thing in me bob and then there were things on the back let's see if they're there i'm not 100 percent sure i don't know if that's a helicopter point that might just be a recovery point again i'm not 100 percent sure who knows maybe this could have been dropped down because i know that the land rovers the parentes they some of them have helicopter points and they could have been dropped in by a helicopter speaking of a parenti land rover here it is and you can see the points I was talking about on the front and the back. We are looking at this truck. What is the history of this truck? Oh, it's a Saro from Switzerland. Um, the design is from 1959. In 63 they started building them. This one is a 71 and they finished the production in 74. In 68 they put bigger diffs on and these bigger diffs went on the next version, the heavier version, they continue with the same diffs. It's a six cylinder, eight liter diesel, naturally aspirated, so no turbo. It's a very unusual engine, they got an aluminium block, aluminium sump, aluminium rocket cover, aluminium water pump, steel head, four speed gearbox, bit of direct and overdrive, makes an eight speed, and you can do the same in low reduction. So yeah, you have 8 speed low, 8 speed high. Constant four wheel drive. When the Swiss Army got rid of it, they donated nine of them. And you see the stick on the instance one? See or nine. That was the last one of the nine that was donated to a doctor's organization. They traveled through Africa. We had a trailer behind it with uh, medical equipment, dental, yeah, the head, you know, clinic, yeah, uh, yeah. x rays, you know, all that sort of stuff. Like and when they were finished with the um, yeah. tours of Judy, I oh, assume, I don't think that I'm more than one. They were and sold off. And a friend of mine, <clears throat> he went to uh, Switzerland to buy some forklifts and trucks and trailers and all that. That's he bought one of them, and the guy offered him another two. Mm. It was this one and another one. They were painted white because when they go to Africa, they got to be like a neutral. We went down so the they were painted uh, white. So the forest, I ended up buying this one. I still got another one. And that's still white. Uh, but I got this one and uh, the truck and yeah, I had to it's strip it down, paint it up in the right oh. colors again. You have to be searched and, uh, so the truck's coming here there she is. Mm. Nice. 50 years later. Yeah. Excellent. Is that a winch? Uh, there's a winch on the back. Because it looks like a winch yeah, would have yeah. gone through here. There's a winch on the back. You yeah. can run the winch from the back to the front. Oh, so you can just run the wire from the winch oh, on yeah. the back all yeah. the way to yeah. the front. Yeah. That is so cool. So here's your winch cable. Oh, yeah. And if you want, then you run it over the sheath and you run it full. I've got a fire extinguisher in the way, but oh, yeah. I can take it out. And I run it straight over the, over the loops. And so the, the, the wind starts here, goes to the, all the way to the front. I've never seen that before. Yep. That is so cool. Yep, yep. Yeah. So you can you can go both ways. Yeah. What's in the back? Uh, the Taj Mahal. Oh, the double, is it your house? The double bed. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And it's 24 volt. Yeah. It's a nice truck to drive. Very comfortable. Yeah. Oh wow. It's a bit messy, but yeah. Cool. Oh, it's got um the, the patch in the roof. Very cool. Oh, I love how you turn that into a stereo. That's, yeah, that's a that's a normal radio put in an army box. Yeah, the Swiss speak two languages.
Yeah, that's it, that's it, not been rude. You got it, you've done all right here. Let's go. Free ride. That's it. Is that a Do we need to put our seatbelts on? Hey? Does this even have seatbelts? No. No. <laughs> I felt bad for not putting my seatbelt on, but it doesn't even have seatbelts. <laughs> Massive thanks to Dutchie for letting us come in his amazing old Swiss army truck. All right, let's quickly look at everything before they all leave. There's a 6x6 Parenti Land Rover, but we have another one of these little dingy bobbies. I don't know what the heck it is, but this one's got an actual, um, you know, a series of information. I think that's, that's about this generator, but I think there's another one about the vehicle itself. Yeah, so this is actually what the heck this thing is, because we were looking at one before and I had no clue what it is. This one's looking a little bit more dapper. What do you think, Will? Pretty dope. Pretty dope, yeah. Pretty awesome. It's got all the gamer gear. Look at the gamer gear. Thank you. That's the truck we just had a ride on. They're leaving to go down to the Murray River because the ducks are all about to go for a swim in the river. Hence the name, swim in. Game again. Pouches. It was you like name it. World War One back there. This is absolutely incredible. This one's an international harvester. Here's some information about it. If you so wish, and you can purchase it if you so wish. Dairy. Just enjoying a spot of lunch. What do you think? Um, 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 um. All right, we've completed lunch. Just a quick look in here. I kind of can't be bothered to be honest, but just a lot of various interesting things to purchase if you so wish. But yeah, I'm not really in the market for anything. Various Jeep, it looks magnificent. And look, they come ready with some sanitizer. You gotta love it. How do you feel, Will? 
swimming so far. How is it? Zonked. You're zonked, are you? Zonked. Human thoughts so far on the um, static display Very slash good. swap meet. Yeah. Very good. We're leaving the showgrounds, the swim-in sort of thing. And now we're gonna head down to the Murray River and hopefully see some of the ducks splish splashing. Mm. If you have enjoyed the video so far, smash that like button and subscribe because we're doing epic historical, historical interesting things on this channel. So jump on board if you haven't already. Isn't that right, Will? Yeah. Jump on board if you haven't already. Jump on board if you haven't already. See that truck? The truck just told you to smash that bell button. We're literally about to hop in the car to go back into the main town of Korowa. And what happened, Will? Uh, yeah, orange stinger. 12 o'clock. Oh my gosh. All right, come and have a look, Will. Ultimate orange stinger here. Yes. Yes. All right, I'm like running. We're at the Murray and I'm running because there's already a duck. It's happening. Here it comes. Here it comes. Yes. It's the same duck we saw just a moment ago. You can see how ducks have just been like jumping up here, driving around straight into the caravan park. We're sweating absolute bullets. Keep running, Will. Oh, okay, it's coming up the boat ramp. So epic, the propeller is still going. Wow, there's another duck just on the back of this truck. Duck on a truck. Bonus gentleman, look at this guy. Here he comes. Bonus. Excellent. Bonus. It's all happening, we've got a Unimog on deck up there. Here we go. Just Unimog on deck, don't mind me. In front of us, there is a Aboriginal canoe tree. Here is the plaque about the tree. You can see, if you look closely, where the Aboriginal people would have sort of carved out a big canoe, and this is the scar of where they took the bark off and then made a canoe. That's so cool how you can still see that. Which just makes it very quite interesting. Baby duck! I think they're struggling to get the prop on. There they go. Dairy. What's up guys, Ash Weaving here, aka Ashley, aka Ashley TV, aka Weaving, aka Weaving Photography, aka Ash's Mega Fat, aka Ash Off The Grid. And I am just here to make a little announcement. Henry Spores will actually be back. Ducks coming up, really bad footage though, YOLO. Massive Chad one. Here it comes. There's like a team. There's a small team. I've got goosebumps. The giant duck is now bogged or something and they're using a rope to pull it out. Let's see how this goes. Um, 
There's a different dock. I haven't seen this one before. That looks weird. Look at this, look! Someone got an army trailer and turned it into a duck. They made a trailer boat. That is insane. How are they even gonna get out? Someone hops out. Do they just pull the trailer up? Oh no, they're going back out again. We'll never know. All right, well they're off again in their uh, trailer. Okay. As the duck comes into land, I say farewell. Thank you for watching the video. This was the Corowa Swim In 2022. If you're interested in other interesting Australian history type things, have a look at my other videos and uh, subscribe, <laughs> bell, all that standard YouTube stuff. Here is a duck. Here is another duck. And I bid you good luck.